Genesis chapter 50 verses 1 to 13. Joseph threw himself on his father and wept over him and kissed him. Then Joseph told the physicians who served him to embalm his father's body. So Jacob was embalmed. The embalming process took the usual 40 days and the Egyptians mourned his death for 70 days. When the period of mourning was over, Joseph approached Pharaoh's advisers and said, Please do me this favour and speak to Pharaoh on my behalf. Tell him that my father made me swear an oath. He said to me, Listen, I am about to die. Take my body back to the land of Canaan and bury me in the tomb I prepared for myself. So please allow me to go and bury my father. After his burial, I will return without delay. Pharaoh agreed to Joseph's request. Go and bury your father as he made you promise, he said. So Joseph went up to bury his father. He was accompanied by all of Pharaoh's officials, all the senior members of Pharaoh's household and all the senior officers of Egypt. Joseph also took his entire household and his brothers and their household. But they left their little children and flocks and herds in the land of Goshen. A great number of chariots and charioteers accompanied Joseph. When they arrived at the threshing floor of Atad near the Jordan River, they held a very great and solemn memorial service with a seven day period of mourning for Joseph's father. The local residents, the Canaanites, watched their mourning at the threshing floor of Atad. Then they renamed that place, which is near the Jordan, Abel Mizraim, for they said, this is a place of deep mourning for these Egyptians. So Jacob's sons did as he had commanded them. They carried his body to the land of Canaan and buried him in the cave in the field of Machpelah near Mamre. This is the cave that Abraham had bought as a permanent burial site from Ephron the Hittite. Genesis 50 verses 1 to 13.